Hello everyone. How to install Windows 11 on VMware Workstation Player? Firstly, you have to go ahead, open the VMware website, uh, or I'll provide it in the description. You can just simply go ahead, download the VMware Player, and then install it inside your computer. Now, the installation process is pretty much simple. You don't have to do anything at all. So once you downloaded that, you have to go ahead, download the Windows 11 ISO. For this, you have to make sure that you are uh, signed up in the Windows Insider program. If you are not signed up, uh, I have already created a video inside my YouTube channel. You can just go ahead and find that out. So go ahead, open that. And now you have to scroll down and simply select on ISOs. And from here, you have to scroll down, uh, select an edition of the Windows. Uh, in my case, if you want to test the latest features of the Windows 11, 24H2 especially, you have to either choose the Canary or Dev channel. Select uh, either of them and then click Confirm. Following by that, uh, select a language and then again click Confirm. And once you are there, just simply click 64-bit download and downloading is going to start itself. So that is pretty much simple. Okay, once you have uh, gotten all the files, you have to go ahead, open the uh, VMware workstation player that you have installed. Okay, now simply choose create a new virtual machine. Uh, choose I'll install the open system letter or you can uh, select right now, it doesn't matter. Following that, you have to select Microsoft Windows. I'll be selecting Windows 11. And then uh, you have to mention the uh, file name. I'll be mentioning Windows 11 24H2, 24H2, dev. And where you do you want to save it? I will save it inside uh, this PC, new volume E. And now this directory called VM and Win 11 dev. Now, select ok click next now it's going to encrypt uh, or simply going to encrypt the necessary parts of the windows 11 that requires a uh, secure word for instance the tpm simply select next okay let me again go ahead and enter the password Select an amount of storage. I'll be I'll be giving it uh, 350 GB. Where do you want to save it? I will save it in a virtual disk in a single file. And now you have to go ahead uh, select the or attach the eyes of the Windows 11. In my case, that is available in the desktop. So everything is clear from here. Select close, finish. And now once it's done, all you have to do is just simply click play virtual machine. The installation process of Windows 11 is pretty much simple. I will fast forward all the process uh, and you will note that it is really much simple. So as you can see, select a language, select keyboard settings, choose install. I do not have a product key. Select an edition of the Windows. Accept the license. Select the disk where you want to install it and now simply click install and wait until the installation completes. It is as simple as that. The Windows has been installed in the VMware Workstation Player. However, as you can see, the edges of the screen are completely black. So we have to fix the screen resolution. For that, you have to uh, go to the arrow down there and now simply click on Manage, choose Install VMware Tools. Ignore the message and simply click on Install. 
Following by that you have to go ahead and open the file explorer. From there you will notice that the VMware tools has been added there. Now all you have to do is right click on it and choose install or run program from your media. Yes. And you have to wait again. Now the installation process is pretty much simple. As you can see, all you have to do is simply click next, typical next and now install and wait until the installation completes. So the driver is installed. All you have to do is click finish and and now you have to go ahead and reboot the system. The driver is installed, however, as you can see, the edges are still black, which means we have to manually go ahead and set the screen size. Right click, go to display settings. From here, display resolution, now choose it and go ahead, choose the resolution of your monitor. In my case, it is Full HD. So as you can see now everything has been installed and you are good to go and simply go ahead and install and try any uh, feature or any software inside these virtual uh, windows. In the next video I will be providing a detailed description or new features in the Windows 11 24H2 build 260AT. Now this is the dev channel. For now have a nice day, goodbye and I will meet you guys in the next video.